Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about animated accessory design. I'm going to walk you through the process of how you can add cool looking accessories to parts of your character's body, both by integrating them into the body part and by saving them as separate items that can attach to that body part. We're going to walk through how to apply your accessory layers to the right group. For example, clothing and accessories meant for the torso will be applied to the hip section of your character in Photoshop. There's also the separate right and left arms for things like different types of sleeves, tattoos, and more. There's also the hand group where you can apply layers for things like boxing gloves. The right and left legs are also their own group, and this includes the area from the upper thigh all the way down to the ankles, as you see here. These can be shared with the feet for things like cowboy or military boots. Finally, there are other assorted accessories that can be applied to other layers of your character's body as well. This tutorial will show you how you can apply these directly to your body part sprite, but also how to save them as separate accessories that can be applied to other G3 characters as well. Alright, so what we want to do first is select our character and we'll go right to composer mode because this is where all the magic happens here. Uh, so in composer mode, what we want to do is go straight into Photoshop. So we're going to launch our character again in the PSD editor. Uh, make sure you have the pipeline version. You need the pipeline version to be able to do this process. Uh, just a reminder. Okay, I'm going to load up the image scale here to about 2.5 just to give us a larger PSD resolution as we launch into Photoshop. All right, in Photoshop, uh, again, I'm just going to make the bone stuff invisible here, the bone group. We don't need this group right here. We can twirl down the talking head and make the uh, head bone group invisible as well because we're only going to be focusing on our character clothing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it the traditional way, uh, just adding accessories to your, like adding clothing items to your character. This is the way we would normally do it in the uh, clothing tutorial. So I have a couple things here loaded up uh, under cloth, this cloth, cloth template PSD file here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click and drag these items that I want onto my character. So I'm going to click and drag this left uh, kind of lapel of our vest here, I guess, okay? And just kind of zoom in and place that uh, where I want on my character here, all right? That should do. And I'm going to do the same thing for the right side here. And just click and drag this onto my right side of my character. And just try and position it in a good way here. Now let's try and turn off that, uh, turn off the snaps. And just zoom in here a little bit. All right, I think we're okay about there. All right, good. All right, and then a couple other things here I'm going to add. I'm going to go to this button PSD. So here I have a few, uh, just a button, it's a very simple brown circle button here. I'm just going to click and drag that onto my uh, PSD file here as well. I'm going to press the Control T hotkey to transform. Hold my Shift key and click and drag to get some uniform transform for my uh, item here, or my button, I guess. Let's maybe make it a little bit smaller. Don't want it to be too oversized. I'm just going to place it up there somewhere. Okay, and press enter. I'm just going to hold the alt key and click and drag on top of that to uh, create a copy of that button layer. And again, one more time, we'll just kind of place this button down here. And it may not look ideal, but it's the concept that counts here. All right, so we have this, uh, this side here with a few buttons. And I'm going to also have this uh, badge, PSD, loaded up here. I'm going to click and drag this badge onto my character's uh, left side here. Again, control T to transform the size. And we'll just kind of bring it up to snuff here. Maybe a little, little bit oversized in this case. All right, oops, forgot to hold shift there. Shift for uniform transform. There we go. Just kind of place this on the left lapel of our character. Enter. Okay, so we have uh, the female version of Woody from Toy Story here. And uh, we're good to go. What I want to do first, though, is I'm going to hold shift and select all these uh, layers that I just added to my project. I'm going to add it to my hip. Uh, group, okay? So under RL image here, this is where all your uh, images are that relate to your sprites in Crazy Talk Animator. Uh, I'm going to go to the hip here. This is your basic torso. I'm just going to click and drag all this stuff into the uh, hip group here. All right. And if you recall from the uh, clothing tutorial, if you want to basically flatten all these items here, all these layers, you want to flatten them in Crazy Talk Animator into a single sprite, you need to rename your hip group to plus hip. Okay, and that's going to make sure all these things are flattened in uh, Crazy Talk Animator. So let's go ahead and save that. And it's going to update in Crazy Talk Animator. And I'll show you a little preview in just a moment here. There we go. All right, so looking fine and dandy. Let's just turn off the bones there. All right, so you can see we have this. 
if we select the sprite editor, you can see it's all in a single sprite. Okay, the vest and the badge and everything. Right, and we can, uh, if you go ahead and preview our character now, let's select our torso, and you can see the vest and everything will move along with the torso, which is all fine and good if that's if that's what you want. Um, however, in this case, we're going to talk about how to uh, add your vest and badge as separate accessories so you can animate them separately. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to preview mode here and back into Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these layers that I worked so hard to import in. Hold shift and just select them all and delete them. We're going to start from a clean white template here. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're going to save these uh, items that we want as separate PSD files. So I'm going to go to my cloth template PSD here, hold the Alt key and click and drag the selection box for the stuff that we don't want in this project. Let's go ahead and delete all that stuff. Select this sleeve, delete that, select this sleeve, delete that, and just move this vest over here. And let's go ahead and use the crop tool to crop since we don't need all this extra space there. Press enter and hold alt and scroll and mouse button to zoom in. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create two separate uh, accessories. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, delete this layer. We don't need this one here. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to actually add a couple of groups. So for the left side, I'm going to make the, uh, just right click on the uh, left layer there and create a group from layers. Okay, and we'll call this L vest. Okay, L vest. Actually, we need to put it uh, plus L vest. Okay, it doesn't really matter in this case since there's only a single sprite in there, but uh, let's do it out of habit there. And I'm going to go ahead and actually delete, temporarily delete the right side here. So we're going to delete that layer. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and save this. Go ahead and file save as and LVEST. I already have it saved. Let's just overwrite it on our desktop here. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is control alt and Z to bring back my right side of the vest. And now it's our turn to delete the left side. So let's go ahead and just delete this group right here. Uh, group and contents. All right. And for the right side, I'm going to add a couple of buttons on there. So let's just go ahead and click and drag our buttons. Do, 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 just like this. Control T again. Shift and click and drag. And, uh, should we place that in a reasonable position? There we go. Okay. Press enter. And again, hold alt, click and drag to make duplicates of my button. And one more time. All right. So we have three buttons along here. And I'm going to just, uh, shift and select all these. Right click and group from layers. And we'll call this R vest. Okay. All right, so we need to go uh, plus our vest rather. Keep that in mind. To flatten all that stuff into a single layer there. And then go ahead, file, save as, and we'll call this our vest. Okay, oops, vest vest. Cool, all right, so we have the left side and the right side. We're also gonna save this badge as a separate accessory as well. So let's go ahead and file, save as, and we'll save it as BG, okay, works fine for me as a PSD file to our desktop there just for convenience and let's go into crazy talk and you can see we still have the vest so what we want to do is we want to actually start from a blank template so let's go to uh, Photoshop with our Elastic Folks Female uh, if you can recall this PSD file is still connected uh, to our character in composer mode so if we go to file and save in Photoshop it's going to update in composer mode to a character with a blank template, uh, with a blank white shirt here. All right, awesome, that's what we wanna do. So now we no longer need to do anything in Photoshop, so what I'm gonna do is go back into stage mode here, and we're gonna just unsync uh, the PSD file, that's fine, press okay. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is save these uh, files here, uh, those separate accessories as separate prop files. Now to do that, I'm gonna go over here to create media, and select my prop, and we're going to go ahead and start with the L vest here. Okay, the simple one. All right, so it's just going to load up the simple L vest right here. Just select it. Make sure you save it. Go to the Content Manager uh, under Props. Uh, let's just create a separate folder here. New folder. Let's call it uh, Vest. Okay. And in Vest, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, press the plus symbol. We're going to save this as a custom prop. We'll call it L vest. Okay. Keep the naming consistent. Go back into stage mode. We don't need to worry about resizing or anything right now. I'm just going to delete that and do the same process for the other two uh, PSD files. So prop uh, our vest this time. Okay, so here's our vest. Same same deal. Just uh, plus 
and our vests. Okay. And then back into stage mode, delete that our vest and one final create media for our badge. So the BGPSD. All right. Go ahead and press plus, press plus there. Save it as a badge. Okay. So we have our three accessories all saved separately. So what I'm going to do now is uh, delete that badge temporarily and take our character into composer mode. And we're going to add those props onto our character as separate accessories. Now the way we do that is go to our content manager here. There's a couple ways we can do this. First go into prop and into custom. And let's go into our vest folder here. All right, so we have all our items loaded up. Now let's go ahead and just load in our L vest. So I'm going to click and drag this to our torso. Okay, this bone right here is a torso. It'll highlight in green. And click and drag it onto there. All right, and now it is attached to our character's torso. So we can just go ahead and resize it here and uh, place it where we think our uh, left side of the vest should be. Um, a little bit higher. There we go. I think that should be fine and dandy right there. Okay. I'd be too picky there. All right, so we have that attached to the torso. Another way to do it is just make sure your bone is selected. So make sure it's blue and selected. And then you can just double click on the item that you want to add to that bone as well. So now the R vest is added to the uh, torso bone. So let's resize that and bring her up here. There you go, Get a little bit shorter. Okay, I'm gonna work with that. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and leave that the way it is. And then finally, our badge. So let's click the torso. Um, you can drag the badge onto the torso, it doesn't matter. If it's already selected, it won't highlight in green. Just keep that in mind. All right, and place it uh, zoop, right over top of our vest, right there. Okay, all right, so our character is all loaded up with uh, these accessories. I'm going to show you the advantage of, of adding these accessories separately onto your character. So let's go uh, back into uh, stage mode here. Uh, rather, uh, before we go into stage mode, let's preview our character. Uh, and see kind of the difference here. So let's take the torso. Uh, you can recall before, the vest kind of conformed along with our character's hips and everything, but now it can be animated separately as a separate accessory. Okay? So that's pretty cool. Uh, way to go. All right, we're done. So let's go ahead and go to preview mode and go back into stage mode. I'm going to show you how you can animate these props separately. So let's uh, zoom in on the vest here. So if you select any item here, like for example, this uh, this badge, you can go to the scene manager here and you can see it's uh, kind of a sub prop of our uh, Elastic Folks female here. We can spin around, we can stretch it out, we can animate it in any way we want, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, the R vest. Uh, for the vest, we can go into the uh, prop key editor here, and we can actually deform the vest. So if we hold control, we can click and drag on any of these control points here, or click on any of these control points, and holding control, we can uh, animate them all together so we can have like the wind kind of flowing through our clothing or something like that. Particularly useful if you have like a, a robe or something like that, or a long piece of clothing. Again, you can do the same thing for the uh, left side of the vest here. All right, just like this, all right? Uh, pretty cool. So that's uh, basically the biggest advantage of, of being able to do it this way is, uh, you know, being able to animate the vest and items of clothing separately. All right, let's close this down. And let's save these out as accessories. So the next step is we're going to go to the content manager here and go to actor, custom, and accessory. All right, and in custom accessories, I'm just going to select uh, this item here and go to plus. This is called L vest. And the advantage to doing this, uh, just like the right part here, and plus, uh, we don't want to overwrite it. Let's call this R vest, okay, keeping consistent. And finally the badge, plus, and we'll call it badge. Now the advantage to saving as an accessory is you can easily transfer it to other characters that are similar proportions without needing to resize it and reposition it and everything. So let's bring in another character. Let's zoom in and real quick here, go to actor template and let's bring in the uh, same, same character just with uh, maybe the, uh, well, let's bring in the bikini girl here, okay? She's going to be wearing a bikini and a vest, all right, just like this. Now, if we want to throw on the vest on top of this character, all we need to do is go back to uh, custom, accessories, 
and simply just double click any of these items. And once you do that, it'll apply to the exact same position as it did before. Oops, we need to uh, control Z that. Make sure that you don't uh, select your character uh, and then select the R vest. Otherwise, you're trying to apply one accessory to another. Okay. And the badge. And oops, again, I applied it to the accessory. <laughs> control Z. Okay. So select your character first and then apply the badge. All right. There we go. All right. So we got uh, on this character. We can do it for one more just for fun. Uh, let's choose this character here with the... Uh, Skirt and everything, right? Since the uh, vest might look a little bit better if she has a white top on. Again, custom R vest. So this time, let's throw on R vest. Select your character, L vest. Select your character and badge. All right. So this is how you know the basically the accessories can be uh, really similar to each other. Um, it's it's good to save these accessories. You can apply them to uh, similar type of characters in all sorts of different scenarios. This is a really quick example, but uh, if you get the concept, uh, you can kind of apply these to any other G3 characters that you may have as well. So that's really all there is to it, everyone. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out our other YouTube uh, tutorials on our YouTube channel, uh, CT Tutorials for G3 Characters, and I shall see you in the next video.